The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has seen law enforcement and criminal justice agencies across the country make adjustments in what crimes they do and don't prosecute in an effort to mitigate the spread of the virus. In Baltimore, those adjustments will remain permanent as a city prosecutor announced her office will no longer prosecute a multitude of low-level offenses. According to CNN, over the last year, the city had implemented a series of changes under the COVID criminal justice policies, a series of solutions developed with public health authorities to address low-level offenses while also not increasing the spread of the virus for people incarcerated. The year-long experiment has seen the city's incarceration population drop by 18%, with violent and property crimes going down by 20%, and 26% respectively. As a result, Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby has decided to no longer prosecute the following low-level crimes. Drug and drug paraphernalia possession, prostitution, trespassing, minor traffic offenses, open container violations, and urinating and defecating in the public. Today, America's war on drug users is over in the city of Baltimore. We leave behind the era of tough on crime prosecution and zero tolerance policy and no longer default to the status quo to criminalizing most people of color for addiction, Mosby said in the press release. The state's attorney's office will work alongside the Baltimore Police Department as well as Baltimore Crisis Response Incorporated in order to provide services to people found committing these offenses as opposed to arresting them. The BCRI is a crisis center focused on helping those with mental health and substance, substance abuse issues. Rather than arrest and prosecute, BCRI will connect individuals with services in areas such as mental health, housing, and substance use. The press release reads, In addition to BCRI, Mosby's office will also work with SPARC, a center for women in the southwest Baltimore, Baltimore Safe Haven, and organizations that provide assistance for transgender people, as well as the Sex Workers Outreach Project. Mosby's decision has the support of both Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott and Baltimore City Police Commissioner Michael Harrison. The Baltimore branch of NAACP has also come out in support of the decision by the state's attorneys. Mosby and criminal justice expert had argued for years that crackdowns on quality of life crimes are not necessary to stop more serious crimes. On Friday, March 26, Mosby announced she's making her pandemic experiment permanent and ordered scale back of enforcement. According to crime statistics, Baltimore has one of the highest crime rates in the country. That said, Mosby said crime is down 20% and property crime has declined 36%. Researchers at John Hopkins University have also found major reductions in complaint calls to police about drugs and prostitution. Clearly, the data shows that there is no public safety value in prosecuting low-level offenses, Mosby said at the news conference according to NBC. It isn't clear whether Baltimore experiments can be replicated in other major cities across America. Enforcement of low-level crimes has dropped in many parts of the country over the past year as police have limited operations to avoid contracting the spread of COVID-19. Baltimore, however, is one of the few big cities where police violence didn't increase. In many cities, homicides and shootings did increase last year. In Friday's press conference, Mosby said the Baltimore Police Department will be a partner in the shift away from low-level prosecutions and will focus on violent crimes and drug trafficking as the courts begin holding criminal trials. Our understanding is that the police are going to follow what they've been doing for the past year, which is not arresting people based on the offenses I mentioned, Mosby said. Baltimore Crime Response Incorporated, a local nonprofit, will work with law enforcement to provide services to people suffering from drug addiction, homelessness, and mental illness. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison tells the Washington Post he previously would have believed that the scale back in enforcement would have caused crime to rise. Now he admits the policy may have worked. The officers told me that they did not agree with the paradigm shift, Harrison said. It continued to go down through 2020 as practitioner, as an academic. As a practitioner, as an academic, I say there's a correlation between the facts that we stopped making these arrests and crime did not go up.
and a year that has shown us the importance of equity, both as it relates to the coronavirus and the incidences of police violence, we are pleased to see that the state's attorney's office for Baltimore City under the relationship of state's attorney Mosby has been responsive to the community's needs and to calls for equity. Reverend Kobe Little, president of the Baltimore NAACP, said in the press conference release.